With the ability to read 80 pages per minute, I've read over 30,000 books in my lifetime. I'll be sharing today not only the best advice I learned from these books, but I'll provide you with practical knowledge and how I apply it to my life so you can get the most out of this information. I split this video into four segments, health, wealth, relationships, and happiness. And I'm gonna give you advice that will skyrocket each of these categories. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's talk about your physical health. Everything else is irrelevant if your health is degraded. No matter how cluttered your schedule is, you must dedicate time for exercise, food, preparation, and good sleep. You need to keep the room at about 78 degrees for optimum learning. Hot rooms make you sleepy. A room on the cooler side works best. Learn that from a book by Jensen, as well as this. Which food group you eat first affects your learning state. Pancakes and eggs are not eggs and pancakes. Eat the protein or eggs first to stay alert, and then the pancakes for energy. Eating the carbs or pancakes first makes you sleepy. Second category is your financial situation and under this group for your career, satisfaction with income and material possessions. You spend most of your life dealing with this aspect of your life. The best book on business I ever read was Unlimited Selling Power by Donald Moyne. He demonstrates how NLP strategies can be integrated into marketing and close more sales. NLP is a language pattern that affects your subconscious mind. For example, if I say don't think about Mickey Mouse eating a pizza, what pops in your mind? Well, imagine using this to create right thoughts in a prospect of client. The second best book is Unabashed Self-Promoter's Guide by Jeffrey Lant. It describes how to find a printer or electronic media source to book an interview, how to craft a press release, and finally how to behave during your interview for maximum results. A third book is Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. It describes how to create irresistible copy for your web pages and marketing. And one of the best strategies is the use of storytelling to build rapport with your prospects and earn their trust and respect. Learning to relate well with others is also mission critical in life. Again, NLP books by O'Connor serve a purpose helping me learn how to build rapport for relationships. For example, speaking in the same manner and rate as someone you want to build a relationship helps create rapport. People are attracted to people communicating the same way they do. And the best tip I've learned is the one I taught to the U.S. Special Forces at Fort Bragg. What do you do when things aren't going well? What's the best question? The best thing you could ask is not why this is happening to me, but what's the next best thing I can do now to find a solution? Now, I hope you learned something new today. However, learning is not enough. You also have to implement this in order to achieve betterment in your life. So let me know in the comments which category, health, wealth, relationships, or happiness, you'll start working on first. And if you found this video valuable, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe and like this video. It helps grow the channel. And thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Best of success.